Hey there, Pisces. Uh, welcome to your reading for the week of August 8th. This week, I'm still collaborating with Marie Moore, so definitely check her out if you haven't already. She's a fellow Pisces, so definitely show her some support. Uh, link is in the description below, right at the top there. You can check her channel out. She does tarot and astrology in the same videos uh, every single week and every single month, so definitely uh, check her out below. But uh, this week, let's see what the cards have for you this week, and let's see what's going on. It's been a pretty good week for pretty much everybody, but uh, let's see what's going on. And yeah, uh, very interesting because you have a very similar message to all of the other water signs. Uh, so um, kind of fits in there uh, as well. Uh, let's see here. Uh, hmm. Well, I would tell you, number one, pay attention to all messages you receive this week. Definitely a week with a lot of people. You have four court cards coming up here. So on one hand, this makes you kind of very successful this week. It could make you very successful. It gives you the energy to make things happen this week. That doesn't say that you will, but it, again, it gives you the energy to do so. Uh, Queen of Diamonds coming up first here. Again, uh, pay attention to all messages. Anybody coming to you giving you a message, messages in your dreams, messages while you're on the street, whatever. Pay attention to your intuition and any messages that come in. They're obviously going to be very important. Uh, I think that these diamonds cards, you show up as the queen of diamonds and the king of diamonds this week. I think that these diamonds cards are coming up saying that you are going to do very well. You know, you could see some sort of improvements with money. There's some sort of there's some sort of possible disappointment or maybe you're thinking about old disappointments and things like that. You know, as a Pisces, I get it. I, you know, I definitely try not to, but I think about old disappointments all the time. Old guilts as well. You have the Ten of Spades can represent guilt coming up. So try not to do that, but it looks still looks like a good week. Um, but again, uh, Queen of Diamonds, very good with money, very good with financial opportunity. Next, you have the Queen of Clubs looking into the future this week. I'm actually, it's weird. I'm not feeling that these are coming in as people this week, these, um, these, uh, these cards. I'm just more feeling them as like energies around you and energies that you're going to be dealing with this week. So, um, you know, Queen of Clubs, looking into the future, planning the future, planning things out for the future, and trying to make things happen. Also, a card of using your natural charisma and charm this week to uh, kind of get what you want from the people around you. Next, you have the King of Diamonds. Very good with finances. Uh, normally, I deliver the warning with the King of Diamonds that... Uh, He's very good with money, but he can be very reactive as well. So, uh, you know, he represents the CEO. And, and look at all these CEOs out there that have uh, caused their companies to crumble. So while they can be extremely successful, they can be extremely reactive, which can cause their life to crumble in a lot of ways. So watch your reactive self this week. But having said that, I really don't think you have to worry about it too much. You have the Queen of Diamonds. I always say the Queen of Diamonds should be called the CEO because she is a true embodiment of what you, how you should act. And she re reacts to finances and she reacts to decisions she has to make more intuitively and she puts more thought behind it while still being able to make split second decisions so she kind of has the best of both worlds there and she's much better but so again you have her this week you uh, have the energy of her this week so i think that you'll be uh you really won't have to watch it too much but definitely don't get angry don't allow anger to take over i actually think it's okay to get angry i i, I can't stand when i see people who claim to be spiritual and things like that telling people not to have normal human emotions like anger and, and things like that like that is actually something spiritual to do don't fall into that trap it's not there's nothing spiritual about not feeling your emotions at all so um you know definitely feel anger but just this is about knowing how to use it and knowing how to control it um, and knowing how to truly react to it as well. Next, you have the Ten of Hearts. Really great card. Card of, of improvements. It's a card that represents fortune after difficulty. So good things happening to you after a difficult period of time. Uh, Pisces is definitely, I think you're in a cycle of improvement, of things improving, things getting better. Still having some challenges, still having some little like uh, things sprinkled in there to deal with. But overall, I think things are getting better. This can represent more love coming in. It's also a very social card. Get out there and socialize. Um, you know, I've been a little hermit myself for uh, the past few months. So definitely time to get out there and socialize with friends, meet up with friends, get together with friends and things like that. Especially if you're single and looking because this is a card of possibly even meeting somebody while you go out or something like that. But it's also just a great card for improvements in general. Next, you have the four clubs. 
Uh, I'm pretty sure this has come up for all the other water signs. It's a card of, uh, it represents Mercury retrograde, actually. It's a card of double-checking everything. So uh, it's maybe not as serious as a retrograde, but it's definitely a card of needing to double-check things that you do, needing to check in on, on uh, all paperwork that you sign, and any decisions you make. Just uh, kind of like think about everything again before you do it and then make your decision that's what this card is about it's a card of mental stability though so it says that you'll be very stable this week next you have the ten of spades you know not such a great card but it's a card of disappointments i kind of touched on this in the beginning it's a card of thinking about old disappointments thinking about guilt and having worries and being upset and all these other things um so let those old things go you know get rid of those things and it can you know honestly can be a death card as well um so some of you could be uh dealing with a death or something like that um but uh this isn't it's not a surprise it's like not like a nine of spades so if, if somebody does pass away i would say that it, it wouldn't be a surprise it'd be like one of those things where you would know that it was coming for a while next you have the jack of spades uh, you know, Pisces, avoid all get rich quick schemes, anything that sounds good to, you know, sounds too good to be true. Um, you know, that's a classic Pisces message for you. Um, but definitely avoid all that stuff. But on the other hand, I think that this is you literally charging forward this week, uh, getting a lot done. I feel Pisces like building and, uh, you know, uh, building a confidence and all these other things and making changes in their lives. I, I truly feel like Pisces is at a stage where it's like you want to make changes now. Uh, and, you know, even just even myself, like I've made so many changes over the past year. It's insane. Um, and I think a lot of Pisces are doing that. So definitely embrace that and definitely uh, keep going with the changes. I think you know, sometimes I think this is a card that represents you just charging forward and you just blasting through obstacles and like really just making a lot of changes and having those be positive things. And finally, you have the Six of Diamonds. Same message. Right? I mean, this is you planting a lot of seeds we could look at planting seeds as making changes trying to make improvements and things like that it's it's, it's weird I, I always get um you know i don't block any I, i'm gonna tell you all a little story i don't block anybody on this channel you go through any of the videos and things like that uh you'll see tons of negative comments i could care less i just leave them i don't even care it doesn't even affect my channel at all but what you will notice is that there will be people where i'll deliver a message and i'll say you know this is you making improvements and things like that and somebody will get offended and say you know how dare you suggest that i need to make improvements or how dare you say i'm not perfect the way i am basically or something along those lines i block those people every single time and, and, and it is my belief and again this might offend some of you um, but it is my belief that we should constantly be working on ourselves constantly trying to improve why not um, you know i think that we should be trying to improve ourselves whenever we can so that's what this card represents improving yourself adding things on to yourself making yourself look better even and things like that again i think that there's this very dangerous ideology going around of of this whole you know uh basically um not wanting to make changes in your life and again i would be very very careful of that i think yes i think people need to accept themselves and accept who they are and all these things but i think they also need to accept improvements and that there are always ways to improve and always ways to make yourself better uh that's what this card is all about so um you know definitely um a Allow, you know, allow for those things, allow for improvements in your life, I would say, because this is a card that has a major impact as far as improvements go. But that's that. Uh, thank you for watching. I really appreciate it. And uh, good luck this week. It looks like a really good week. So I think you'll have a nice week this week.